What is going on guys, it is Bailey here with some Black Ops 2 gameplay, yes an Xbox 360 game, because sadly we've went back to the Xbox 360 despite the fact that you know, my system doesn't actually work the best still, we went back to it because the Xbox One is a freaking joke, like I, I've honestly lost patience for the Xbox One, every month they tell you that they're adding features, and they are adding features, the problem is though, they're never improving the features that they have, the core features are terrible now I did a video I think back in November maybe December for people who are considering getting Xbox one for Christmas I kind of reviewed what I thought of the system so far and I basically said you know it's a pretty decent system it's a great system really and I was playing it more than the 360 I was mostly just playing the Xbox one really but I remember saying that the core features the features that you have to deal with every day no matter what game what app you are using the core features are broken I'm talking snapping apps I'm talking party chat messages friends list that stuff is severely broken and despite the fact that they claim that they're adding features every single month they are adding those features but they're not improving the ones that are severely broken on the 360 what do I want to do when I want to bring up uh, my friends list bring up my messages open up a party I simply just hit the Xbox button one time and that menu comes up and then I can pick if I want messages friends list uh, things like that but on the Xbox one what I have to do is I have to hit the Xbox button twice press up on the d-pad wait between 15 and 20 seconds I'm not kidding you for the freaking snap feature that is so ridiculously slow to actually open and then I can click on either party, messages, or friends, but when I click on one of them, it takes another 15 to 20 seconds, I swear, just to open up that app. Now, if I go into a party, and I start a party, let's say I want to invite you know people to the party, I invite them, 95% of the time, I swear, they join the party, and I can't hear them, so they're constantly leaving the party, rejoining the party, leaving the party, rejoining the party, and it's problems that we never had in the 360. The party is so broken. And people have to hard reset their councils. You have to turn off your council, unplug your system for 45 seconds, then plug it in, turn it back on, wait for it to turn on longer because it's a hard reset, and then maybe the party chat feature will work. By then, you've wasted at least two to three minutes that you should have been playing when on an older generation system, you didn't waste that kind of time. And it's just a headache. It is entirely a headache. It's a constant annoyance that a system that costed me, well, $400, but some of you even got it cheaper, is so broken compared to its predecessor who I paid half the price for has a weaker processor just weaker all around and it's just really embarrassing to be Microsoft now Keemstar was talking in a video today another bad thing coming out about Microsoft was supposedly if you're posting gameplays of Microsoft games I'm assuming Halo Sunset Overdrive he used Halo as the example and if you post the name of the game in the title of your YouTube video, you can get reported for that. Microsoft is reporting that because they don't want you to look like you're, you know, advertising for them or that you work for Microsoft or something. So they're basically taking away from the free advertisement that people are providing for them. Now you can still upload Halo gameplay as long as it doesn't have Halo in the name and stuff like that. It's just downright ridiculous to me. And people are starting to say, well, that's why I play Sony. Sony's no better. I got a Vita about a week or two ago. And it's, its connection to PSN is terrible. Now, the system's not terrible, but the connection to PSN is downright terrible compared to my connection to Xbox Live. So there's that, too. It's no better. And just the fact that next gen is so messed up, so disappointing in so many ways, that things are so slow on the Xbox One. Keemstar also talked about the Twitch app. They released the Twitch app at launch, and you could not do a party chat. You could not talk to your friends and have their voices come through the Twitch stream, that to me is ridiculous because we know that Twitch could add that feature if they wanted to. They could, but Microsoft is not allowing them to because they are completely out of touch with gaming. So guys, let me know what you think on Microsoft. I think they are falling increasingly out of touch and there should be a lot of people fired because there are some serious problems here. But thank you guys for watching. It's been Bailey. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and always leave a comment.